What a moving forward this morning with back to school this fall. And speaking of moving forward, many of those students can go ahead and move their alarms forward this year. An extra half hour, that says a lot. Oh, back in the day, I would have been like, tell me more. <laughs> Today in the Bay is Bob Adele is live in Livermore. Bob, high schools no longer allowed to start school at 8 o'clock. You are correct. Good morning to Chris and Marcus. Uh, back in 2019, California mandated by that July 1st of this year, most high schools like Livermore High behind me cannot start class before 8.30 a.m. For middle schools, it's 8 a.m. There are exceptions for schools that are located in the rural areas, but for most high schools in the Bay Area, which are suburban or urban, this applies to them. Uh, proponents of SB 328, that was the bill, uh, they have argued that the old 8 a.m. start time was bad for teens' mental health and left them sleep deprived. Adolescents are biologically different than us adults. They stay up late and therefore need to wake up later. The American Academy of Pediatrics agrees that yes, teens should not start school before 8.30. Opponents, however, have argued about the impact on school bus routes and things like parents' work schedules and trying to carpool and whatnot. We spoke with a teenager who's about to become a junior at Mission San Jose High in Fremont who cannot wait for this extra half hour of sleep. Not only myself, I do notice a lot of kids in school, but in first period, they're super sleepy. They're unable to pay attention. And I had, I personally had my math class in first period, and I saw that a lot of people weren't able to perform their best. And my math teacher was also like, um, first period was usually very low energy compared to the other periods. It actually is a public health risk that uh, increases their uh, likelihood for becoming depressed, uh, suffering from anxiety. It increases their suicide risk. And, and we know that teenagers are more likely to get in car accidents uh, when they are sleep deprived. And they're more likely to miss school. A number of Bay Area high school districts like Tamil Pius Union High they switched to the 8.30 start times last fall. Uh, that superintendent who agrees with the later start times tells us that the mornings do seem to be less frenetic, but so far has not seen an increase in attendance. She says they need more time away from the pandemic to see if that extra half hour is making much of a difference. The beginning of the year, some of the students at the schools that had just gone to it were still adjusting. They, they didn't love it, um, but just because they were getting out uh, you know, 3.40 in the afternoon. And for some of them, they felt like that was a really long day. Um, I think particularly in the winter when it starts to get dark a little earlier. Um, but overall, we haven't heard um, a whole lot of complaints. This new 8.30 time mandate does not impact zero period. If you're not familiar, familiar zero period is that time slot right before the regular class schedule begins. Reporting live here in Livermore, Bob Riddell, Today in the Bay.